Hello and welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you can find lots of free maths videos. This one's about inequalities, that means when they're not equal to, okay, but it in fact really means uh, producing ranges of numbers. So x is bigger than 3 means it can be so many different numbers that are all bigger than 3. Um, so this is what it says there, x is more than 3. and But in this case x can be more than 3 or equal to it as well. So it can be 3 as well and 4 and 5 and 6 etc. Yeah, this one couldn't be 3 but it could be 4, 5, 6, it could be 3.1. This could be 3.1 as well but it can be 3 as well. Is because we've stuck a sort of equal sign attached to the symbol. Now some people get confused which way to draw the arrow. Well, if you look at the arrow, the small end of the arrow is here and the big end of the arrow is on that side. It's going from big to small. And if I flipped my symbol around, it, you know, it would have mean x is bigger than 3. Um, so it's not that complicated to use this symbol. And as I was saying again a second ago, uh, if you want to use the greater than or equal to symbol, you just stick on an extra line like this, uh, which looks like a sideways equals attached to this symbol. It's kind of I'm sure it's not hard to follow there. So as I was saying, um, if you flip the symbol around, uh, but flip the numbers round it means the same thing. So x is bigger than 3 is mean, say has the same meaning as x is less than x. Sorry, 3 is less than x. Uh, so, so I should say in full, x is greater than or equal to 3 is the same as uh, 3 is less than or equal to x. And uh, this next one here just means x is between 1 and 5. But not just that, it's also equal to 5. It's like there's the two boundaries, 1 and 5 are the boundaries for what x can be, um, but x cannot sit on this boundary, which is the 1 boundary, but c x can sit on this boundary, which means it can equal to 5, but it can't equal to 1. Okay, um, So that's what it means, between 1 and 5, but including 5. Um, and you can write the same thing in a picture or on a number line, so the solid uh, circle means you can equal 5, an empty circle means it can't equal the 1, just like we were explaining before, and it can equal everything else in between. Um, now, sometimes you have something that looks a bit like an equation, but it's called an inequality. Uh, like all of this stuff is called an inequality and you treat it like an equation so you want to make x by itself uh, so you say well if I have a divide by 2 here you take it to, to the other side it becomes a times by 2 so you've got 5 times 2 is 10 so now minus x is left over there by itself so minus x is greater than 10 and if I want to change the signs round this is the only way it's different to a normal equation if I want to turn the signs round or times both sides by minus 1 is another way of saying it you get x is minus 10 but the symbol in the between the the inequality has to flip round. So in this case we've got a greater than uh, x is greater than 10, now it's less than minus 10. Okay, which makes sense. If you think of a number, any number that suits this inequality, like uh, fx was minus 11, okay, so to be more negative than the, f more negative than the minus 10, you have to be uh, a bigger number, i.e. bigger number than 10, which is 11, and it's more negative. Yep, so minus uh, 11. Okay, but if you want to do the other way around, if you want to be bigger than a number, you have to, you have to be, that number has to be bigger as well. Yeah, so um, I've got, if if we just said that was minus 11, so we put minus 11 in there as well, so minus minus 11 is positive 11. So positive 11 is bigger than 10. So that makes sense, right? Okay, now, uh, how do you draw inequalities? Um, or how do you even draw areas within, or regions within uh, inequalities. What do I mean by that? Well, sometimes you've got more than one equality and they all have to be satisfied. 
okay uh, and what you do is if you've got this inequality for example you just draw the boundary line first so the boundary line for y is less than x plus 1 is y equals x plus 1 so I draw my line y equals x plus 1 which is just a straight line graph and uh, you should know how to uh, now you should know at least the basics of drawing straight line graphs which is just another video that you need to watch um, that I've made I believe or will be making um, so you draw that boundary line and then you draw another boundary line which is uh, x equals 5 which is the boundary line for the region x is less than 5 so there you go there's x equals 5 line and just to explain what you do with it is uh, yes x equals 5 is a boundary and now what side of the boundary does this inequality agree with so if x has to be the x values have to be less than 5 that means x could be 4 for example so x equals 4 is over here so everything on this side of this line okay is correct it is in agreement with this inequality now this one's a bit harder that's why I left it out for a bit let's do this one uh, so y equals 2 is the boundary line here for this inequality and what side of the line should I be well y has to be any number bigger than 2 so all the big y values of y are on this side and the y values that are less than 2 are on this side so everything above this y equals 2 line agrees with this inequality Right, so let's deal with this inequality now. Y has to be the Y, any, if we pick a Y coordinate, the Y part of the coordinate has to be less than the X part of the coordinate plus 1. So what I usually do is pick a really easy number. So here's my boundary line and I pick an easy number like 0, 0. Okay, so 0, 0 is below the boundary line. See if it agrees with my inequality. So if x, y was 0 and x was 0, you'd get y is less than 0 plus 1. Is that true? Is 0 less than 1 basically? Because 0 plus 1 is 1. So that's true. So that means the side where 0, 0 is on of this boundary line is on the good side. Now if I picked a different number, for example, if I picked uh, 0, what's this number? 1, 2, 3. Okay, let's just say 0 across and 3 up. So that's y is 3 and x is still 0. Is it true that 3 is less than 0 plus 1 or is basically 3 is less than 1? Is that true? No, it's not true. So that uh, 0, 3 is on the wrong side of this line. Okay. Once you know you've got the right side of the line, you don't need to check which side is on the wrong side because the other side is the wrong side of the line. You're either on the good side or the bad side. Okay. But I checked the bad side as well just to make the point of how uh, it would be. I uh, you'd get the wrong answer. This would it would not agree with this if you picked the wrong side. Just to demonstrate that. Anyway, so we know uh, we're basically in this triangle because it was less than this line, it was bigger than this line, and it was less than this line. Now, what you notice is you've got solid lines and dotted lines. That's equivalent to solid circle means you're allowed to be on the boundary like uh, we have here. Oh, by the way. I was supposed to plot coordinates which agreed with these inequalities, okay, and only integer values, that means whole number of values. So that's why I haven't got like uh, coordinates that are not uh, where the lines cross, because where the lines cross are where I've got whole numbers, yeah, uh, whole coordinates. But I could have decimal coordinates according to these uh, inequalities. I could have points there. I could put points there in between every all of these points. But I had to choose integer values, which is why I chose whole number coordinates. Now, uh, solid line means this bit. An empty line or Hollow line means uh, dotted line, which kind of makes sense. Solid line means sorry. Ugh. Solid line means solid circles. That's what I meant. And empty circles means dotted circles. Now, as you can see, solid circle means you're allowed to sit on a circle, like we explained here. It's allowed to equal to five, so we're allowed to sit on this solid line 
with our answers so that's fine and this solid line would like to sit on it as well but you see there's no answers sitting on this dotted line because it's equivalent to this thing here which means you're not equal to okay so that's that example done final example uh, solve this so you've got a quadratic inequality and uh, part A says solve x squared blah 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 is less than zero now if I solve it uh, if I say it's equal to zero and solve that I would get the two answers x equals 2 and x equals 3 those would be my answers okay uh, as you can see from this graph now, uh, drawing this graph tells you that these are your sort of boundary conditions. Okay, now which side of the boundary are we on? If we want this whole function, x squared minus 5x plus 6, to be less than 0. So where the function, this graph, is less than 0 is when the y values are less than 0. So from 2 to 3, the y values are less than 0. So basically, x has to be between 2 and 3 between here and there and it's equal to 2 and equal to 3 possibly because the original symbol we had was the equals uh, this is less than or equal to symbol yep so whatever symbol you have there you use there okay on the other hand if you had the same function x squared minus 5x plus 6 is greater than 0 okay you have to look for the places where the function is greater than 0 so this part of the function is greater than 0 and this part of the function or the graph is greater than 0 that means all the values less than 2 and more than 3 and this time we've used this symbol so we use the same symbol there or the equivalent of the same symbol if we have an equals to sort of symbol we put it there but we don't have an equals sort of symbol we have the other one so we put it there and there doesn't have to be the same direction because in this case we have to have x is less than 2 and x is greater than 3 so we wrote that down over there x is less than 2 and x is greater than 3 is the answer to this second inequality